Hi, my name's Phil Richards from BFCA Chartered Accountants. We've put together a spreadsheet to help you compare as a professional contractor or freelancer, whether a limited company, umbrella or PAY with an agency would be best for you. So if you watch this video and put your own numbers in, you can make an informed decision. Thank you. On the How to Use sheet of the workbook, you'll find some instructions and notes to help you when you use the sheet. To do a calculation, start on the Business Structures sheet. In the blue boxes in the Annual Income section, put in your hourly rate and the number of hours you work per week. You could also use a daily rate, a weekly rate or annual income. Then enter your annual salary and the number of shares you'd hold if this were a limited company. If you're new to contracting, put these two figures for salary and shares in as they can be reviewed later, but these figures are both the minimums needed for a calculation. Once you've decided what business structure to use, you can refine the calculation by using different figures here. Next, go to the Expenses and Overheads sheet and put in your expenses. If you can't work out your mileage, etc., then just enter a round sum. I'm going to estimate 1,000 miles per month, then page down, and put in accountancy fees of £540. The company's house fee is entered for you. The same expenses calculations are used across all business structures, so your comparison will be accurately using a level playing field across all business structures. You only need to take these first two steps to get a comparison. If you don't do anything else, you could base your outline decision on these numbers. Go back to the Business Structures tab of the spreadsheet to see what your net monthly income would be, your net annual benefit and what your most tax effective structure is based on these numbers only. You can page down to see how we've worked this out. We keep it simple. The spreadsheet shows the tax liabilities assuming you take all income from the company that's available and doesn't apply the many tax breaks you can get from running your own company. Here are some more points to remember about using the spreadsheet. It's not just about the money. Think about whether you really want to run a business. It will be your personal responsibility to ensure that the business pays its taxes and files accounts. Your responsibility even if you have the advice and support of a good accountant. You can read more about this on the Making a Decision sheet of the workbook. You can refine your decision making once you know a bit more about how you're going to run your business. This example shows just one single shareholder drawing one salary. Consider the director's salary in the light of minimum wage, pensions, job seekers allowance, etc. Please see our blog for more details about this. Think also about shareholdings where you have a spouse or partner who could be paid some of the income from the company. To refine the calculation, amend the salary and shares accordingly on the business structures page of the workbook. To further refine the calculation, enter a pension contribution under the non-taxable deductions heading here. And don't forget that it's very important to get a proper IR35 review to find out your IR35 status from a qualified professional. At BFCA Limited we have a specialist section for professional contractors and freelancers and we're happy to provide you with a free initial consultation in a phone call to discuss your requirements. If you'd like to talk to us, please see our contact details on the BFCA Limited sheet of the workbook. Thanks very much for listening.